Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of In Lothia Monday with Team Insignia and Remax Realty Group. And we're here again at Earth Tones Greenery with our good friend Kevin Klein. Kevin. Hey Jim. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, I tell you what, man, you've here. had a week, huh? It has been a week. Absolutely. Oh, man, for those of you that don't know, I can't imagine anybody doesn't know. Uh, nursery pretty much got wiped out with the flooding uh, last weekend, right? Yeah, just, last, uh, just the, last weekend. The 22nd, Saturday night. Uh, so, I guess Saturday early morning, I guess. Right. It's Friday night, Saturday early morning. Um, we had four feet of water. So, imagine standing right where we are, you know, having four feet of water um, where we are. Yeah, so, that um, is crazy. Kind I tell of you, unrecognizable I, Saturday morning. When well, we and I came out Saturday afternoon to see you guys, and from what we saw on the videos Saturday morning early right. to what I saw in the afternoon was a huge improvement. And now to come out here today and see, I mean, obviously you guys still have a little bit of work to do with some restructuring, some stuff right back there and right. getting some more one gallons in. But man, I tell you, you can't really tell that anything happened. So hats off to you and your crew. And you've Thank had you. some help too, right? Absolutely. You know, one of the, I mean, the, the greatest part of being able to clean up was that we could call our landscape crews. So, yeah. you know, our landscape crews are used to kind of turning everybody else's yard into something awesome. And we just brought them back here and said, go to work, you know. So yeah. we had five crews out here on Saturday. Right. And then, uh, you know, you brought that barbecue Saturday afternoon for us. So big, big thanks for that. But, uh, you know, it's amazing what a lot of people that are dedicated to one purpose it really is can do and then we had we had uh friends and family members and stuff showing up and just right. calling and asking i mean you know you sent me a message saying you know how can i help and uh just that sort of effort really touched us it it's it's been a huge help for us and then everybody has been following everything we've we've been posting about and right. saying hey we're going to reopen you know friday and everybody you know, was supportive of that. Yeah, and exactly. Even when it was raining Saturday, it was our first Saturday to be open, you know, one week after it happened. Which it is mind-boggling. It it's, was raining again, and, and people still came. But yeah. it was one week after. It's mind-boggling to me that in one short week you guys reopened. Yeah, and, and that that's, was... Uh, that's a testament to you guys. And, and not only that, but to the community. And that's what that's what being a small owner, small business owner Absolutely. in a community is. When you're when you're entrenched like that, and you, you have a reach to your community base, they give back absolutely when it's time to without even being out. I mean, they, I saw the post. Yeah. Hey, can we come up there and help? Absolutely. My kids are, are sitting touching. around bored. Let's come up here and right. So put them to work. But <laughs> we did. That's too. awesome. So, so we want to talk a little bit about this month. You're calling it Oktoberfest. So you're talking about trees, Fest. right? Right. Well, October for us is tree month. Right. You know, that's okay. the best time by far of the year. The best time to plant a tree is in October. Um, it's right there at the beginning of the fall. The uh, trees are working on the root system. So every week we have a different sale aimed at, at different groups of trees. Okay. So all month long, um, it's 25% off installs, 25% off, you know, each week different trees. Right. Um, okay. So we called it Oktoberfest, you know, and have a little fun with that. Sure, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's going on all month long. Definitely the best time to buy a tree. You guys should definitely come check that out. Also, we want to talk about it's October the 13th, yes? That's right. The Pumpkin Smash. Pumpkin Smash. You know, Pumpkin Smash hit last year, and we, we tried that out, and what a turnout we had. We had no idea smashing pumpkins was going to be so much fun, <laughs> you know, but it really wasn't. So this year, we decided to go a little bit bigger, and of course, the flood kind of scared me a little bit, but right. we've got everything Ready back to go. together. In fact, the areas that we're going to have opening for pumpkin smash mm -hmm. you can hear that work behind us a little right. bit um it's going to be awesome and it's going to be something that the community i think is really going to like but we're going to have four different pumpkin smash stations wow that are all themed you know you've got your uh um mad farmer and so it's going to be farmer tools and then it's angry sportsman so it's going to be like a baseball bat and <laughs> golf club and all that kind of, right. so each of them are themed so there'll be a lot of fun smashing pumpkins and live music and we've got a food truck um, Rock and Rick's food truck is going to be out here, and, uh, wow. and uh, Alex Englehart and Casey Maynard are going to be here playing live music. Well, so cool. it's going to be a great time. Sounds like a lot of fun for the family to come out and have a good time. Now this is your second year, right? It is. And this year that. we got Cowboy Party Rentals to help us out. So we said we need some more help. So Cowboy Party Rentals said, "Hey, we'll bring you know a lot of the fun stuff, you know, that's not smashing pumpkins, right. you know, the uh, the big inflatables and things like that." So they're going to be set up here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. That is awesome. You guys coming together like that. It's going to be a really cool event, so you're not going to want to miss it. 
I would probably suggest if you're going to come up here to smash pumpkins, probably wear some of your old clothes. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I can just imagine sound, just like stuff coming all yeah, over. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, the adults have just as much fun as the kids do. <laughs> you know, maybe even more so. Well, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine, especially if you've got teenagers and kids. And, That's right, a little frustration. Yeah, a little frustration. So, <laughs> hey, man, I'll tell you what, it's really good to see you. It's good to see you smiling because I know that, that day last week was... A lot it was of tough tears. on you. It was tough on you, man. Yeah, it, was. it was real emotional, but it looks like you guys are off to a great start to getting back to 100%. And, uh, hey, visit Kevin if you haven't before. And if you have, keep coming back and showing him the love. Don't forget about Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, I'm sorry. <laughs> for the right. tree specials once a week. Be checking on his Facebook page. And also the pumpkin smash. You don't want to miss that, too. So, everybody, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Kevin, it's good to see you again, buddy. Thanks, Jim. All right. Take, Take care. Bye-bye.